welcome to the channel if you're new or if you're not. I am so excited you're here either way. The Instant Pot is everywhere these days and it is able to cook one of my favorite ingredients in so many different ways eggs. So today I am showing you my favorite way to hard boiled eggs, not even kidding, these adorable sous vide egg bites that will save you money at Starbucks and taste better, and this versatile breakfast casserole. Let's start with the hard boiled eggs. Seriously, I don't know why, but I hate boiling eggs. I've talked about this before. Even though I have a cooking YouTube channel, I have never mastered boiling eggs. Either they cook too long or cook not long enough or they don't peel. These were perfect. Add water to an instant pot along with a trivet to keep the eggs lifted. You can add your eggs straight to the trivet, but I found this handy little mold to keep them upright. And it does help keep them from moving around, especially if you have to move your instant pot while cooking, which is not recommended, but it does happen sometimes. Add as many eggs as you want. I went with five, but you can do up to 12. You'll want to cook them on manual. Now, on the Instant Pot model, for some reason, manual is labeled as beans and chili. So go with that and then cook. Six minutes, I found, is perfect for hard boiled eggs. You can go four to five for a medium boiled egg or three minutes for a soft boiled egg. Remember, the Instant Pot does have to preheat. So it is not actually that instant and that is super irritating because it means that it's not actually any faster to do this than boiling eggs on the stove. But I still believe this method is the best because the most amazing part is when you quick release, open the Instant Pot, and then add them to a bowl of ice water for just a minute. You peel them immediately and holy moly, they peel so easily. And look at that perfectly cooked. They taste so freaking delicious, I could not believe it. I have struggled with the Instant Pot in the past. I get annoyed at how long it takes to preheat, and sometimes it just doesn't work right. I don't know, but this method seriously changed my feelings about the Instant Pot. I will boil every egg in it for the rest of my life. I'm not even kidding. Try it for yourself. Also, you have got to try out these sous vide egg bites. Adorable. First, I cook some bacon. and then drain it and chop it up before distributing into my little silicone mold, which you can find anywhere, seriously, but I linked this one below. I also add in some chopped veggies. Anything you have lying around will work. I used bell peppers. In a blender, I combine eggs, shredded cheese, cottage cheese, heavy cream or regular milk, and salt. Get it really nice and integrated. That mixture goes into the mold as well. Don't fill them all the way up though. Leave a little bit of room for them to expand and then it's ready for the Instant Pot. Again, water goes in and then the trivet first, followed by a mold. This time we are using the steam function for eight minutes, followed by a natural pressure release for 10 minutes and quick release if there's anything left after that. Then carefully remove the mold and cool just a little bit before popping them out. Wow, these are really soft, adorable, and delicious. The flavor is great, A, because there's bacon, and B, because when we blended up that mixture with the eggs, it gets all integrated and the texture becomes so light and fluffy. And remember, you can add any veggies you prefer. Also, if you don't have a mold or don't wanna buy one, you can use little mason jars, the little four ounce ones covered with foil in your Instant Pot. You can also bake these little bites in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 minutes. I will say they tasted better in the Instant Pot though. Okay, last but not least, the breakfast casserole. First, I whisk together eggs and milk and then add in your favorite veggies. I went with bell pepper and green onion along with salt and pepper. Spray down a large dish that fits in the Instant Pot, make sure it's oven safe, and then pour in that mixture. Sprinkle some cheese on top if you like, which I always do. Water and the trivet go into the pot first, followed by the casserole. Lock on that lid and cook it on manual for 25 to 30 minutes, quick release before removing the lid. Wow, 
This is like an adorable and tasty crustless quiche. I have made these in the oven before too, but the texture is definitely a bit different in the Instant Pot. It's almost softer and lighter in flavor. Neither is necessarily better or worse, but you might prefer one to the other. I love that you can add anything you've got in your fridge in here so you can really try out a different flavor variation every single time. This recipe and the egg bites will both totally store for the week in the fridge, making them great for meal prep, and you can also freeze them. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. If you want more Instant Pot videos, let me know what you wanna see me cook. I appreciate you. I will be back next week with a brand new episode. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.